Hello, this is Dobby. Some of you may know Dobby, but for those who don't, Dobby is a free house elf. And this is Dobby's draw Dobby's life. So Dobby used to work for all the Malfoys as a slave. They treated Dobby horribly, but Dobby still behaved. See, that is how things were back when the Dark Lord had his reign. But things would change the day a babe became the Dark Lord's bane. Well, nothing changed for Dobby since his masters were so mean. They beat poor Dobby even though the house was shiny clean. There was no way to leave because, well, everybody knows. The only way an elf can go is when it's given clothes. Then one day Dobby heard about a very evil plan. A plot to bring the Dark Lord back to school where he began. So Dobby went to warn young Harry Potter not to go. But Harry Potter left home and returned with quite a show. Still Dobby tried to get young Harry Potter far away. Sure maybe Dobby's methods were a little not okay. But in the end the boy who lived would once more win the day. Then Harry Potter changed poor Dobby's life in every way. Now when Harry Potter gave the diary back to Dobby's master, Dobby's master threw the diary back to Dobby, his disaster. See, when Dobby opened up the diary, Dobby was in shock, because inside the diary, Dobby found a single smelly sock. The master had presented Dobby with clothes. Now Dobby was a free house elf, and Dobby loved his friends. Dobby fought for what was right together till the end. Dobby had a hard time finding work that would be paid. Most wizards still expected Dobby free and well enslaved. But then Professor Dumbledore let Dobby be employed. Now Dobby'd be with friends, which made free Dobby overjoyed. Of course, the other house elves thought that Dobby was a shame. They felt that being paid for work was bad, but hey, they're lame. But soon things got more dangerous at Hogwarts for us all. The Dark Lord had returned and all his servants heard his call. Now in Harry Potter's fifth year, Dobby helped him find a room to teach his friends how to protect themselves from sure upcoming doom. But when the Evil Umbridge found out Dobby warned them just too late, but Dobby always was a loyal friend no matter Dobby's fate. <sighs> now Dobby was a free house elf and Dobby loved his friends. Dobby fought for what was right together till the end. Then Harry Potter needed Dobby's help with something tough To spy on Draco Malfoy who was messing with bad stuff And sure enough the school was soon attacked in quite a brawl We lost Professor Dumbledore, the greatest of them all The fight went on and Harry Potter left the school for good And Dobby swore to help in any way that Dobby could When Harry Potter and his friends were captured and in need Brave Dobby came to rescue them and Dobby did indeed but when Dobby tried to separating Bellatrix the Strange threw out her dagger And then Dobby fell to feeling cold and strange But Dobby made it, they were safe now Dobby's friends were all around And Dobby died a free elf Knowing Dobby's friends were safe and sound Now Dobby was a free house elf And Dobby loved his friends Yes, Dobby fought for what was right together till the end. Hey, and thanks for watching our video. The question of the day is which fictional character of all stories, all media, were you most affected by when they died? It could be Jack from Titanic, Boromir from The Lord of the Rings, Dumbledore. Let us know in the comments below and let us know why. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more 80 Byte musicals. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you very soon. Hi guys. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Dobby's auditioning for Phantom of the Opera.